Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's match review of Chelsea's 5-3 win over Red Bull Salzburg this preseason. Yeah, pretty much a mental game and we will get into that. But before we do, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell notifications icon as I upload every day and you do not want to miss out on the content I'm providing. Right, so RB Salzburg, or more specifically Red Bull Salzburg, who are they? They're the Austrian champions, apparently. A decent team, a Champions League team. Anyway, without a really long introduction, let's get into the analysis. Frank Lampard deployed a 4-2-3-1 formation in this first half against Salzburg. Now, for me, this is unsurprising because it's becoming Frank Lampard's go-to formation. And it does look like this is the shape he will be using in the Premier League this season. His lineup went a little something like this. We had Kepa, Risa, Balaga in goal. In the left-back position, we had Emerson. Aspilicueta was playing at right back and the centre back pairing was David Luiz and Kurt Zuma. If you haven't yet watched it, I suggest you go and watch my latest video on centre back partnerships and who Frank Lampard is going to choose uh, as a centre back pair next season. Anyway, in front of the back four and in the engine room, there was the partnership between Jorginho and Kovacic, which is looking rather tasty these days. More on that later. In front of them, we had Ross Barkley in the number 10 position with Pedro on his right and Christian Pulisic on his left and up front by himself was Tammy Abraham. Before this match started, this might have been Chelsea's strongest 11. Well, perhaps not most experienced and sensible 11, but potentially strongest 11 going forward, maybe. So I will talk about the players and performances in a bit, but I want to do a linear sort of story of how the game went. Chelsea played a high press as per usual, but in the opening 10 minutes, as per usual, there was a kind of... There was elements of dysfunction and misplaced passes. I mean, you could put this down to pre-season in general, but a few worrying signs here or there. Chelsea's offensive players were actually very quiet in the opening sort of 10, 11, 12 minutes. In fact, the earliest stages was all Salzburg, and in the 11th minute, they popped off a great chance that David Luiz had to clear off the line. Chelsea are getting frustrated and unsettled and not seeing as much of the ball as they would like. And when that happens to this current Chelsea side, they get rattled. RB Salzburg are looking very sort of accomplished in possession and on the ball and although they don't deploy a high press really they definitely want to win the ball back it's definitely in the midfield certainly in their defense but they do want the ball and when they have the ball they progress very very well. In the 19th minute Chelsea is starting to look a lot more like themselves. Barkley plays one of his excellent long passes which he's been doing this preseason finds Emerson advancing down the flank to some wicked dribbling carries the ball right up the pitch and then he cutbacks to Pedro who can not finish the move sadly but come off the 20th minute and Captain America Christian Pulisic scores his first goal for Chelsea a lovely beautiful long pass that Christian Pulisic picks up on the break does a little dribble and tucks it neatly in the bottom left hand corner within a couple of minutes of that Christian Pulisic picks up the ball again dribbling into the box concedes the foul and wins a penalty Ross Barkley picks up said ball puts it down on the spot and puts it in that exact same bottom left hand corner scoring another goal for Chelsea at this point, Chelsea have been very much second best in the game, but suddenly they find themselves 2 0 up. 28th minute, Pulisic is on the run again. A long, beautiful pass finds him yet again. He picks his touch to take it down is absolutely superb. Dribbles in front of the two defenders, makes sure he's in front of them, and slots it home. Two goals for Christian Pulisic. In fact, in the space of eight minutes, Christian Pulisic has scored two fantastic goals and won a penalty. He certainly announced himself in this Chelsea team this game. Come the 35th minute, Mateo Kovacic plays a lovely long pass to the advancing Emerson who forces a wonderful save, a great shot. Kovacic starting to show that he's not all about dribbling and short passes. He can definitely spray the long diagonal balls as well. 37th minute comes, Kepa Aretha Balaga makes an excellent save from a free kick. Salzburg are getting chances here. The rest of the first half kind of goes up and down and nothing too notable happens, but it's a weird game. Salzburg have been better in a lot of or large parts of it, but Chelsea have been lethal in their finishing, some wonderful combination play in the final third, and Pulisic and Barkley doing bits. So let's run through some player performances in the first half. I'm not actually going to do this in the second half, and you'll see why later, 
but I got a good sample size from each player in this 45 minutes and I just want to do a couple of words on each one. Starting with Kepa, he's very, very sensible in goal, coming off his line at the right times, made a couple of good saves, and obviously very well integrated in this system, certainly with these players. A very professional and mature performance from the young Spaniard. Emerson was superb for me in this half, the way he carried the ball up the flank, very, very good. He's so good at dribbling and he's a very fast ball carrier. Him playing behind Pulisic, who is also a very fast ball carrier, is very interesting. They didn't interchange much, which is kind of tactically interesting because they both provided different options. Um, they weren't necessarily looking to combine, but when they were on the ball, they themselves were going to do something threatening, which is either, you know, pass the ball in or take a shot on goal. David Luiz, not perfect positionally, but when is he ever? But generally some good defensive action, and we saw the good David Luiz in this half with the no-nonsense defending, you know, just kick it out when you don't know, which is what you need from David Luiz. Zuma was good in this half. He was uh, very aggressive in both boxes. He made a few mistakes. Uh, um, again, not perfect positionally, but I think this might be a recurring theme in a problem in the side, but generally a strong performance apart from a few moments. As for Laqueta, very good one-on-one -on -one defending as we know he can do, but I've come to, I've, I've been impressed with him this preseason because he's been getting forward when he can, he's been occupying the space when sensible, but he doesn't bomb up and down because he can't really, but a strong enough performance and nothing too outrageous from Cesar. Jorginho, very, very good in the earliest stages of this game when Chelsea were being rattled the whole time. He was probably Chelsea's best player. Calm, playing out of the press, playing out of the um, the pressure from the opposition. Very good under pressure, essentially. And when the freedom was afforded to him, he displayed some of his great passing ability too. But positionally, very good Jorginho and doesn't panic, ever. Kovacic was very similar to Jorginho in this sense, in terms of positional play. Very, very sensible, very good playing out of the press, and just very good from playing out of the back. That sort of chemistry between Jorginho and Kovacic, they're very calm with each other now and comfortable, which is very promising indeed. Pedro in this half was probably a little bit disappointing for me, maybe the most underwhelming out of the three. Good energy levels, good pressure, but his finishing wasn't as great as it should be and maybe a couple of attacks petered out when he was on the ball. Ross Barkley, my player of the preseason so far, excellent again, superb passing, superb positional play, great finishing, uh, great interplay, good physicality, he seems to be the all-round number 10 that you just want in any top tier side at the moment. Frank Lampard has worked wonders for Ross Barkley. Christian Pulisic, Captain America, man of the match in the first half purely because of his offensive output, he was just a weapon in that half. When the ball went out long to him, he was on it, he was dribbling, he was shooting, he was scoring, he was great. If not, he was winning a foul and winning a penalty. Maybe everything in between he wasn't superb at, but if his job was to be an offensive weapon, second to none. So very, very good from Christian. Tammy Abraham, the disappointing player of the first half for me. Bit of a passenger, even when he did get his chances, and he got a few, he didn't take them. Poor touches. He overplayed a lot of the time. There was a moment where he did a little back heel layoff when really he should have just done the sensible move. Maybe trying too hard, needs to settle. Probably more to come from Tammy, but he needs to chill out. And sadly, this was a poor half from him. Bang, let's get into the second half. No changes from Frank Lampard. So you can see he wants his team or certainly players to settle a bit more. I'm going to change the graphic now. Now I'm going to change it to how the half ended. It's a different formation and it's different personnel and we will get there in the linear timeline but let it sink in. <laughs> Red Bull Salzburg come out this half feeling hard done by by that first half where they basically had an unjust scoreline maybe. They put the pressure in, they nearly score in the first couple of minutes and they do score in the 50th minute. From a corner it was a lovely header, bullet into the goal, Kepa can't really do anything and to be honest I want to give Chelsea a break in this one because it wasn't bad defending. Louise was tight to him. He jumped with him, just didn't jump high enough and it was a bullet header and scored a goal. It wasn't like a free header. Chelsea are sort of all over the place for a little while. In the 54th minute, Salzburg nearly score again. Chelsea, I feel, are rattled and when the pressure's on and they can't settle and play their game, 
their performance level drops. But in the 54th minute, Pedro comes alive and scores a quite frankly outrageous goal. And massive props to Ross Barkley for this assist as well. A lovely pass. Ross Barkley has been so immense this preseason. I'm going to stop waxing lyrical about him because I don't want to curse him. But he's been so good. Lovely pass. Amazing run from Pedro to split the centre backs. And he does this sort of turning back heel finish that sort of curls into the corner. I'm not going to say any more about this goal. If you haven't seen this goal by Pedro, you need to go and see it. So get on Twitter and check it out. 64th minute, the Salzburg pressure continues. Kepa makes a good save. They're from the rebound, another shot comes in. The Aspilicueta clears off the line. They are soaking up a lot of pressure from Salzburg. Even though they're down 4-1, they're proper giving it some. Salzburg start getting scrappy and fouling Chelsea a lot. And the game kind of breaks down a little bit with just fouls being conceded, play being broken up. But that stops due to loads of Chelsea changes. So in the 73rd minute, Frank Lampard makes five changes. Pulisic comes off for Kennedy. Jorginho comes off for Mount. Abraham comes off for Batshuayi. Emerson comes off for Alonso. And Louise comes off for Tamori. Now, it took me a while to understand what this formation was, and that's what you can see next to me in the graphic. It was a 4-1-4-1 formation. So a conventional back four, and it was Kovacic being the lone player screening the back four. Kennedy played on the right of midfield, and interestingly, Pedro played on the left, which you don't really see very often. And behind uh, Michy Batshuayi, the lone striker, there was both Barkley and Mason Mount. This might be Frank Lampard attempting to get the best out of Mason Mount and Ross Barkley, arguably his two form players of pre-season, into the same starting 11 without pushing Mount too far wide, I guess. Kind of two number 10s. In the 81st minute, Zapacosta comes on for Azpilicueta and Kovacic comes off for Andreas Christensen, which is interesting because he takes that defensive midfield role. It suits him because he's played a sweeper, he's played as a sweeper for Chelsea before, and he's played at midfield for Modern Gladbach. So the game kind of becomes more and more scrappy, like I said. There's not too many notable things to talk about, but the Zappacosta comes on maybe two minutes from being on the pitch. He concedes a penalty, which Salzburg converts. So now it's 4-2 to Chelsea. Come of the 88th minute. Michy Batshuayi scores a goal, which is great because he hadn't been on for that long. Uh, Pedro basically plays in a nice pass for Batshuayi, pops off a shot, which forces the save that he manages to regain possession from, but instead of passing it out, out of panic or popping off a quick shot out of panic, he does very well and demonstrates a lot of composure Batshuayi, keeps the ball for a couple of seconds, which seemed like an eternity, and popped off a wicked shot, converting a goal with an excellent finish. 5-2 to Chelsea and they regain their free goal advantage, until the 92nd minute where a very peculiar slash awful piece of defending comes from Chelsea, some scrappy weird strange stuff at the back where Salzburg eventually pile the ball in off a few rebounds and just some really poor defensive positional play from Chelsea. So full time Chelsea 5, Red Bull Salzburg 3. Mental. So let's get out of this graphic page and get into some talking points. Positives are Chelsea showed yet again from this preseason and might not have problems scoring goals this season which was the big you know, worry for Chelsea, no real top tier striker and you know, Eden Hazard's gone, but it looks like everyone could chip in with goals. A huge positive is Christian Pulisic announced himself at Chelsea with two goals and winning a penalty and it looks like he's going to do just fine. Ross Barkley proving yet again his ability to play at a really high level in this Chelsea team and for me he has to be starting in the number 10 role for Frank Lampard before anyone else. Um, certainly just give him the chance in the Premier League, he's got so much experience in the league and he's in fine form at the moment. Mason Mount was a bit quiet but you might put that down to sort of coming on in a pre-season game when he's not settled in the actual game but he did nothing of note when he came on. Michy scoring his goal in limited minutes, scoring another goal in pre-season, um, just makes Tammy's first half, his first underwhelming half, look even more worrying for the young Englishman. Um, it did look like Frank might give Tammy the nod as the striker this season, but if Batshuayi is coming on and scoring goals like that, he's going to give Lampard a headache. And obviously I want to reiterate how 
positive the deep midfield two of Kovacic and Jorginho is looking. Obviously if Kante comes back in he's got to take one of those places but in terms of them two playing together the chemistry is very very good and very promising which can only be a good thing. So Lampard's main issue with this Chelsea side is defensive. Now I don't actually think it's a personnel issue. I think it's a systemic thing and it's kind of worrying because he had the same issue at Derby. Um, poor on set pieces, um, defending set pieces and poor in certain phases of play where they just look very very vulnerable um, not necessarily after being carved open it just there's just worrying sort of panicky times for Chelsea's defense so that needs to be worked on regardless this was a very exciting game for the neutral a lot of entertaining stuff going on as well as some poor defending but I want to throw this out to you guys what did you think of the game get down in the comments let me know your thoughts on player performances and formations and just the general way things are going for Chelsea at the moment. Obviously I'd like to request that you like the video if you've enjoyed the video, <laughs> please like it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you're watching this and you have not yet subscribed and shout out as per usual for my Patreon where you can pay one dollar a month and gain access to the Q&A videos I do for my patrons where you guys ask a question, I do it like a couple of times a month and I'll answer your questions and it will cost you one dollar a month plus you get to support the channel. Also you can follow me on social media at football Yannick, Instagram and Twitter. Anyway guys, that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's looking interesting for Chelsea at the moment. So enjoy the football and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick. Got a muzzle. Yo chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry I don't. I love me baby.